You know what I said to my friend? Who was a what? zombie? I said... BOOM! Headshot! <laughs> press any button. Oh, I'll press any button. Press any button and, and the viewers will like it! <laughs> and we're loading content. Uh, uh, this is kind of awkward, Chaz, because you and me, we, we were doing this game, and then I had computer issues. I had to bring this up with a lot of my Let's Plays, because I'm just kind of coming back. And it was, it's all gone. The, it's the all storage. gone. I actually had it on my external hard drive, and for whatever reason, I was an idiot. Kind of forgot, like, my password and stuff. On your hard drive? On, on my external hard drive. And that's why I lost it, because it was like being all super, super secretive, and it's like, oh, if you don't know, I mean, we can format this thing, but everything's gone now. Everything that you had is gone. We deleted mm. it all. But I want to do this. I generally want to do Resident Evil, the HD HD remake, because it's on the, the PS4. Remake? Well, so they remade Resident Evil for the yeah. GameCube. It's now on the Switch, isn't it? I think so. But they also ported it to the PS4, and that's what I'm playing. Resident Evil. Oh, that is so beautiful. That is Back, so good. Baby. So, yeah, I wanted to do this. We lost what we had, but we're coming in again to do it from scratch, because I want to do it. Chaz, you, you, you don't remember a lot of this, right? You'd like a I refresher. Remember, I remember basically nothing. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> oh, I remember I mean, this. I, I remember, like, the very beginning, and that's about it. You remember this, right? Yeah. Okay. I like I like taking a walk. Aw. Uh, but we could climb a mountain. We could be a fucking man. I want to be a little wuss. I'll, I'll, I'll meet you halfway. We'll take a hike. We'll take a hike. We'll play, what, we'll play normal. I forget what you played it on last time. Uh, I was... I was trying to be all super swag and just like, I'm being a fucking man, but the thing is, uh, I just want to go average Joe. This is just a normal playthrough. It's nothing special. Because even though I got a little practice in, I also kind of want to just be like, uh, well, you know, if we get to a certain progress, I don't want to be like, oh man, now I need to know what to do and I'm making a billion mistakes. So, you know, progress is good. Oh, so we got we got to we got to select our character. We can play as Chris. We can play as Jill. Now, if we were doing a normal playthrough, I'd say yeah. you go as Jill. And in fact, I'm gonna put a little card here and link it in the description. But I actually did do an original playthrough of Resident Evil as Jill, which is unfortunate because that means if I'm gonna do it again, I have to do it as Chris. And Chris isn't great. But Chris is cool. Chris is cool in this game. And, and in later installments up until, I'd say, probably Resident Evil 6. But uh, I digress. The point is, I can't do it as Claire... Or, sorry, sorry, Jill. Ah, oh, that's a different game. That is a different... That's the sequel. Uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when the time comes. But I gotta play it as Chris. Because I need the different content. And I said I was gonna yeah. do it. But yes, you can go check out my original playthrough. Again, there was card. Maybe I can put that back up. So two cards in a row, close so together. No, no Jill sandwich. No Jill sandwich, unfortunately. I know, we've all missed the meme. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Uh, 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 uh. 
We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. This way. Damn it! Make for that mansion. Oh man, we gotta we gotta load up everything. I Just apologize, viewers. Probably. Uh, enter the survival horror. I'm surviving and I'm, I'm horrified. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. <sighs> is everyone alright? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Waifu. That's his wife. It's not. I mean, there's a lot of shipping when it comes to that, but there. No, there's no? nothing official. What? I know, right? Aren't you upset? You wanted to ship both of them, but not, there's nothing official. What? I mean, I thought that was... The no, thing, it's not canon. It's nothing. They're, they're oh, just okay. really good friends slash partners. Right. As right, business fair. partners, they watch each other's back in situations like was, this. I thought that was their thing. No, I, a lot of people want it. A lot of people ship it, but there's nothing confirmed. Anyways, uh, I have a question before okay. I get everything going. Um, so I think depending on the situation, you enter with Barry. Maybe you do enter as Chris, but I know Barry comes into play with Jill's scenario. Yeah. Uh, but he's not going to play a huge role into Chris's. In fact, I think he might be absent. So it's like, I don't know if there's any real canon when it comes to Resident Evil. Because I okay. think it's a combination of both. If that so makes Barry, sense. Barry, Barry's somewhere. Barry's somewhere. So is well. We haven't met her yet, so I'm not gonna talk about uh, her too much. Yeah, yeah. But I know who you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. But regardless, we have a cutscene. Oh man, wasn't uh, that delicious? He he's having what I had for dinner last or tonight. 
Chaz, are you a zombie? No, I just like to eat human flesh. Oh. You're a cannibal. Yes. You're a Hannibal Lecter. We should grab that, but I don't want to because here's the thing about Chris. One of the immediate things you'll notice about the between Chris and Jill. We have limited inventory space. In fact, we have two less slots. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? You know, the they, question uh, is, what happened in between the time that Chris was gone? Um, Even if you're speedrunning, it's like almost immediately they're just gone. They, um, went to the bathroom. You would think that, but... Also, were they... Did they hear a noise? Like, what happened? There's no, like, what? beast scenario here. It's just, they're gone. You got a gun. I do have a gun. That is the main reason I did everything I did. Uh, sometimes the best alternative route of doing anything is just not acting in terms of just don't fight zombies. I like shooting things. Uh, I do too. Game. The problem is bullets are a valuable resource in this game. That's probably why I haven't played it because I would just want to shoot everything. And you'd run out of ammunition, and then you'd be screwed when it comes to crucial points of trying to actually do something. I remember this part. Yeah, we got a map. Um, I should probably explain how maps work, because there's a little bit. So, in the top right corner, we got a map key. It yeah. tells you 100% items and in progress. What it means is, if you look at the map itself, you see the room we're in? It's blinking. Red means there's still items to be collected in that room. Yes. The room next to us, where it's pretty much a nice greenish uh, tan color. That's what color my my uh, teeth are. <laughs> it's from eating all that human flesh, boy. Yeah. Anyways, what that means is the room's been cleared out. There's no items there. Don't even like you've basically cleared it out. You have nothing left. Also, doors. My bad. Let, one last explanation. Doors. Blue means it's open. You went through it. Gray means it's open, but you haven't gone through that door yet. Red, red means it's locked. locked. Yes. Yes, red means it's locked. Now, normally I don't want to do this because it's a waste of time, but since we haven't done it, and since I might as well show it off, daggers. They're special, yes. they're special in the sense that they are defensive items. And this is teaching you about emergency evade. Essentially, enemies will grab onto you. And when they do, they're usually going to take a massive chunk of your health with them. When you have a defensive item, it's basically a get-out-of-jail-free card. They'll grab you, you'll use it, and then you'll escape taking any damage. Unfortunately, they are a one-time-use item. You can collect multiple of them, but once you use them, they're gone. And there's, uh, I remember them. Yeah. Uh, and the whole point of doing this is they're actually going to show you how to use it, because guess what? You go around this corner, BAM! It's a Zombo. <gasps> and he trips like an idiot. Trips like a noob. So... You know, I'm gonna try to take care of this guy, but I don't have enough things. If I was smarter, I might be able to get out of this unscathed. Um, the camera kind of messes you up, so I apologize. Sometimes it is the camera that you're kind of fighting against because it'll disorient controls. I know that's kind of weird to blame the game, but I swear to God, there are times when you have to go someplace and the camera angle will just change and all of a sudden you are going back. It's, it's very unfortunate. It is. Uh, but it's just like the original game. Uh, sorta. Sorta. I mean, there are fixed camera angles. I just feel like they change perspective a lot more frequently in this game. Oh. Speaking of the original game, there is a lot more to see and a lot more to do in this game. So, without further ado, now we're going to play it properly. Introductions are kind of out of the way. Uh, tutorial stuff is kind of out of the way. There's still some more to explore. Still some more to learn, but... Here's what we got going on. I'm not going to pick up that save ink ribbon. I'm not going to touch that clock because we haven't done the thing to do the clock. 
I can pick up the shield. I don't want it. We, don't want again, it we have limited inventory space. We have... We have four slots now that we have gun. Also, the zombie went in that hallway, so now we can actually check out the corpse of our comrade, Keith. Kenneth. 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 No. Uh, looks like he's holding something. But we can't, we can't figure out what it is. We need a video player. A VHS player? No, it looked like in beta. Like a, a, oh. eight, a beta track. Oh. No, I'm serious. It, it, is it in my I'm files? Sure, yeah. yeah. Kenneth's, Ken, Kenneth's film. It looks, like a, it looks like a beta track. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. is such an old form of media. I know this game is supposed to take place in the in the nineties, but it's like yeah. who uses beta anymore? Nobody. Nobody even uses it. It, in the it 90s. would at least be a VHS tape. I mean, I guess the only reason I can see the the viability of a beta track is it's smaller and more condensed. So yeah, it, like it, it's just it takes up less room. So maybe, but it just seems so foolish. Also, that's a Zambi. As soon as I attack him, I'm pretty sure he's gonna come to life. That's health right there. I don't want it. I do want it, but I have limited inventory space. Now I have half my inventory space already taken up. The reason you play as Jill, even though she has less health, Chris can take more hits. The reason you want to play as Jill is she has two extra inventory slots. There's other reasons, too. That I n I've heard of, like like you have a guy assisting you, very, a, a very plus, very like, cool guy assisting you. Plus, like, uh, you get the shotgun earlier. Yes, we actually have to we have to do a long workaround to get that shotgun. Oh man, okay, I did the thing. I had I had to escape him, and I have to go here to collect this. I have to, arrow. I have, yeah, I have to get the golden arrow. Um, this is telling you you can examine items. Because it's important and you might find you get something very crucial when you examine those items. Mm -hmm. Question. Why? Oh my god. What do you say? Uh, okay. That wasn't why I said, oh my god. There's another zombie usually hanging out right here. No, he's just not there. He's not there, which is really weird. I mean, I'll take it. A lot of this is just trying to make sure that you survive. I don't like dumping rounds into enemies and then having to, you know, leave them still alive. Yeah. But the problem is, if I don't, I get hit. Dagger. Also, I need that dagger. Now, the real question here is, we saw a zombo. Yeah. And I want to, I want to get to this side. It's very crucial. It's very important. The only unfortunate thing is I'm going to be wasting people's times doing this. Because zombies walk very slow. They're a lot faster than I think, but slower than you'd expect. There's something along those lines. But anyways, the reason is I need to solve this puzzle. It's a very important puzzle. It basically, yeah, it's a push puzzle. I remember this yeah. puzzle, sort of. A very simple puzzle. You just bring it here, and then you dump it over here. And it breaks. And you get the item. I like breaking things. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of breaking stuff in this game. Now, the unfortunate thing is, I don't know where Zombo went, but he's not in my line of where I need to go. He's right there. He's out of the way. It's important. And you know, this is all kind of like a little bit of a, a prologue to the actual exploring the mansion. You can try to explore as much as you want, but you'll find a lot of the stuff is locked. So this is our arrow. It's pretty cool looking, as you can see. I like it. I want to shoot it at somebody, though. Oh, it's just for decoration. You know this thing isn't actually going to do anything, unless enough force is implied. But even still, I wouldn't recommend it. Because that's, that's at least one assault charge. Oh, I want to shoot it at, like, a target or something. I, I guess, but we kind of need this arrowhead. Oh, no, the arrowhead. It's, it's made, made of, of peridot. Refer 
to as the poor man's emerald. So, you know, if you want to fake it, get some Peridot, say, yes, look at my priceless collection. And people think it's emerald if they have no understandings of precious gemstones. Yeah. I, I have no thing of precious gemstones. You have no knowledge of precious gemstones? Only when it's, like, from Skyrim. Oh, Chaz, I realize. Yeah. We're not playing on hard. There's less enemies to deal with. Oh, that's but, why there's no enemies. There'd be a zombie right here if this was hard. Mm. Oh, man, the game just got easier. And there's no zombie right here. So, I, oh, man, this, this area is actually pretty easy to get through. So... So my bad. I was I was playing on hard because I was like I might as well try it, but then I realized I don't want to deal with all this bullshit. Um, in hard mode, there's a lot more enemies that you have to deal with. It's it's not fun. Yeah. Also, I am pretty sure enemies take less hits to take care of. Of course, that said, that doesn't mean that enemies aren't gonna just straight up, you know, appear once you trigger something. Lay down and die. Yeah. All right. We're in a room. This room is going to become important later on, but for now, we have it to collect this really book. Important. It's a book of curses. Chaz, do you think we should take it? No. Well, too bad. We're taking it. Oh. I know. We're cursed. We're cursed for life. I'm cursed now. Really, all you gotta do is... Well, you can examine it. It'll say it's a book of curses. Actually, you can zoom in. It says, writing of the next world. Maybe it's like, instead of actual curses, it's like, curse words. Um, like, it just says the F word a hundred <laughs> times. Maybe, but there's a key on the back. And we need that. Now you can explore the mansion oh. properly. Oh, oh god, why would you open the book? Because, we get, we get some dialogue. Look, book of curses. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. So it's got no face. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. You might be asking, why do I want to do that? Well, look at these statues. There's pretty they're pretty, they're pretty ugly. They need masks. They need masks to cover up all this indecency. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I got a question. As soon as I exit, am I gonna suddenly run into zombos? Maybe. I don't hear anything. I don't see anything. There's shotgun shells right here. Oh. Rally around the family, pocket full of shells. I, I, I kinda want them. But my problem is, is there any- no. This, this is just a safe room on normal mode. And I take it on easy mode, it's just- it's just that. But regardless, now we can actually explore the mansion. Now we can actually do stuff. Nice. Uh, sadly, I think I'm going to end it off here. I think this is a good first part into everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's a good intro. It's got all the wingdings and webdings. And especially for the fact that now we can actually explore the mansion. So in the next part, we're gonna start doing that. It's gonna it's gonna get crazy. We're gonna probably end up fighting z more zombies. Actually, fighting zombies. We're gonna learn how to take care of zombies. That's the most important part. Ah, uh, I I like taking care of zombies. My oh, yeah. zombie geriatric carries. Uh, <laughs> Very interesting. Services. You mentioned up uh, Jerry, 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 whatever. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. Geriatrics. Geriatrics, uh, whatever. Point is, stuff is gonna happen in the next part. So, see you then. See ya.